but at least we've learned something. All right, next one is access denied, uh, SharePoint Admin Center, manage personal site. Okay, from Collins Gidisu. Thank you very much for submitting this. Hello, Irvin, great content. Thank you. I had subscribed uh, to Microsoft Developer Program and tried to use Office 365 E5 license to practice some of your contact, particularly the missing file ticket. Okay. I went into the SharePoint Admin Center, more features, user profile, search for a profile, manage personal site, and kept getting an access denied. I have managed my own admin user account and assigned SharePoint admin roles to myself, but still getting the access denied feedback when I click on manage personal site for the user. Any ideas? Is there a specific role I'm missing to assign to myself? So what he's talking about here, and guys don't be scared about this this is actually it, it does sound like it's a complicated thing and but as a help desk you would come across an issue where you would have to follow these steps to restore to restore files that somebody using that somebody might be uh, accidentally deleted or something like that and you will get a ticket that says i'm missing a file we've done a ticket on this and uh you can go through and uh, this is a second way an alternative way to restore files for somebody and uh, I guess I'll do the same thing I did from the previous video I'll show you how to restore uh, well let me see here uh, just a moment all right so here is Microsoft 365 administrator admin center and from here you you know you can restore people's deleted files and there are a couple of ways of doing this i'm just going to go to this real quick because we've i've done this many many times i've showed it many times one way is to select the person let's say bob bobson here he says ah you know i have a ticket he sends a ticket and it says I, i've deleted something so you can access their OneDrive. everything every time they delete something um, or everything that's stored it's stored in OneDrive. so if you go over here and to their profile and select OneDrive. It will show you a link that will allow you to go, go basically through the back door and you would sign in as them. It will be a temporary link that will allow you to sign in as them and then you can go through and see, look for their missing files, which could be in their recycle bin. So a lot of times, even if you do have the link, um, it will say it will not have the recycle bin in there. So the alternative way to do this is go through the SharePoint. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast here, but you can see that my licenses are are expired for Microsoft 365. I haven't renewed them, and for those reasons, I can't create that link. But it would just be like opening. It would be just like opening OneDrive, where you see your files, and then you go to Recycle Bin and then restore anything that's in there. Other way, and uh, is to go into SharePoint. So here's SharePoint. And um, you can go and look for their recycle bin to see if there is in there through SharePoint. So when you have SharePoint Admin Center open, this is what he is talking about. You select more features. And then on the right, you select user profiles. And then you select open. And then from here, you can select manage user profiles right here. Manage user profiles. And I'm hoping this is still working for me because... You know, my licenses have expired. And what was it, Bob Bobson? Let's see if we can find Bob. I'm just going to type in Bob. And so do you do a search here. And here's Bob Bobson. And to see his files, you would use this drop down here and then select Manage Personal Site. Okay. And then it's going to take us to another window from which. Uh, okay, user has not created a personal site. Uh, let's just try somebody else. Um, uh, what was her Sally? I think I I think Sally has it. Sally, Sally Mo, manage personal site. So he's getting access denied when he's trying to get to this point. See now I'm basically backdoored into this user's OneDrive, and from here. I can restore files for this person. 
you can see here and it's indicated by this link up here it says sally m because this is her link to her onedrive and so i can backdoor into it and restore any files that are in there this is how you do it and you can even see if there are files meaning if she's sharing some files or created them in teams or something like that okay and then you would see you would have a recycle bin typically but again mine is uh, probably is broke broken because uh, I don't have the licenses or I don't know it's been a while since I've actively used this office 365 so he cannot get to this that's his problem it says he's getting uh, let's see here access denied when when he clicks on manage personal site for the user so one reason you saw yourself it could be that you know it's not set up it's not set up for them to begin with that means that they didn't have any files created most likely in their onedrive so if you want to recreate it make sure that there are files inside of onedrive that could be one reason the other reason is and it sounds like you have admin roles set up and the other thing I would kind of look at is to make sure that you have here let me show you here Irvin here has licenses and apps and then make sure that he's part of a group yeah I don't have yeah I lost my licenses that's what it is I was gonna say make sure you're part of you know you know make sure you have full admin privileges is what I'm trying to say and it sounds like you've done that the only other reason that I can think of is that they don't have it yeah I have managed my own admin user account and assigned SharePoint admin roles to myself but still getting access denied when I click manage personal site for the user so I mean if you've assigned all those roles that they will give you admin privileges in SharePoint then the main reason the only other reason I can think of is that they don't have anything in there yeah well this one is very specific it says the user has not created a personal site uh, it just means that there's, you know, they haven't, uh, Bob Bobson probably has never logged in. That's probably reason number one. Otherwise, it would have created something. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. It's either they don't have anything that you've never logged in as that user. I would first try to log in as that user that you're trying to access and create like a file or two in OneDrive and see how that goes. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that it might be. Oh, you get, you get screenshots. Okay, cool. Password admin, groups admin, global administrator, exchange admin, SharePoint admin. Yeah, you have it all in there. Oops, where'd it go? Assigned to me. You have it all in there. Access denied. Ah! user issue type user does not have permissions yeah this is different does not have permissions to access this resource I mean you could try creating a different admin and log in as that as that admin to see if that works but it does look like you've set it up yeah, if all else fails and you can't get it to work, then you can contact Microsoft so they can look at it. There's a chat. Here it is. Help and support. Go in there because it, 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 it seems like you've set it up. But you can. what I would do, I would give permissions to somebody else and log in as them. Uh, well, yeah, of course, make sure you're logged in as the administrator I guess I should say that make sure you are logged in as that administrator that you've given access to in this case you I guess Collins yeah it, it should be working it makes no sense that it doesn't work um, but yeah it's it's straight up saying you don't have access for some reason so it could be license expired it could be uh, just kind of look at those things and if if everything checks out then I would contact help and support access denied to SharePoint here it is so go through this here and uh, see if that works 
you can run a test here access denied to SharePoint and it gives you so copy paste that SharePoint URL which is uh, the, the one that you're trying to access and then type in your username or email address and then run a test and see if that helps you out okay yeah I'm sorry I didn't have a straight answer for you here but you can try those things okay so I'm going to reply and say please well you know I have to say hello this is Irvin with PC support please check to make sure your licenses in office Three sixty five are active. It does look like you are the admin to SharePoint, which should work fine. I'm also make sure you log in as admin when accessing SharePoint also um, make sure that user has logged in at some point as well Otherwise, you can use support contact tool inside of Office 365. Also, watch my video, and hopefully you see this. I've talked about it in the video. Perfect. Okay, save. And I'm going to I'm going to select it as resolved, but feel free to contact me and I'll get a notification and then I'll get a pop up when you're working tickets. You don't want to resolve them or close them until you've resolved the issue. But and this is a special occasion.